Leadership has taken a significant turn over the years. And the youths, yani we the youths, are no longer the leaders of tomorrow. Erastas or Sequoia has followed through for a better generation to come. Erastas, give us a backstory about yourself. Uh, thank you. Thank you uh, for, for, for that question. Uh, my name is Erastas uh, or Sequoia, as you've said, and uh, I am a graduate, uh, a graduate of Masena University uh, with an MSc in, in agronomy, mm. that's uh, in, in agricultural sciences, mm. and uh, hoping to enroll in my PhD in the next two, three months. Wow. That is what I'm, I'm hoping to. And uh, we run a master key program mm. a initiative for the last two years now. That's what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what is Master Key? Uh, Master Key is a mentorship program mm -hmm. that we began to ensure that we are bringing on board young youths. These are teens from 12, 13 years, mm -hmm. and, 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 and young, young and elder youths who are up to 35, and also young couples. So we bring them on board, we help them to have an all-round life because as the word signifies, master key, mm -hmm. we need them anytime they're coming outside this corporate world, they are able to open any door and they can do many and mighty things mm -hmm. because we believe that youths, they have the power regardless of the challenges that they are facing, mm -hmm. but if somebody stands out and helps them to stand, then they are able to open any door with the master key. Okay. Yes. And so what prompted the decision to venture into the mentorship? Uh, the main reason why, why we, we decided with my other team members, mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm the vice president of master key. Okay. Yeah, with my president, who is not around now, and our general secretary, we, we decided that uh, in, in 2020, when we had COVID mm -hmm. come in and, you know, everybody was whining and people were not able to stand up for anything, mm -hmm. we realized that most of our young men and women, more so the teenagers and the youths, had a lot of idle time. They are not in school. Mm -hmm. At home, they have nothing to do. And as much as parents were out there looking for something to put on the table, the young men and women were out there loitering and wasting a lot of time. Mm -hmm. and then this thought came in our mind, an idle mind is the, the devil's, devil's workshop. workshop. We really didn't want that to come out into our young men and women whom we stay with. Mm -hmm. Then we said, no, we need to make them busy. We need to enable them to get something to do. And so we began training them on several issues concerning their lives. Okay. Yes, S -s some of the issues maybe I can mention, one of them being leadership. Mm -hmm. in, in, in teens, we have identity crisis, not knowing who they are. So we're enabling them to know who they are so that they may come up. We have issues of relationships, you know, they are in, in, in that adolescence mm -hmm. age. And they really, they are struggling. Who, who, what is the right decision to make? Mm -hmm. So we are enabling them to make the right decision. Okay. And above all, and finally, we also wanted them to know God. Ah. Because, uh, uh, allow me quote, Psalms 127, verse 1. Mm -hmm. the scripture says that, unless the Lord builds the house, those who are building it, they labor in vain. Mm -hmm. And unless the Lord watches over the city, them who are staying awake, they stay awake in vain. And we also wanted them, as they take this journey, as young men from the teenager, mm -hmm. and even as they go into adulthood, they know that they are do we are not doing it alone. We have a mighty God mm -hmm. who will help us through. Okay. And so how long has the journey been? And how has it been doing? With the small steps that we have made, mm -hmm. we have seen a lot of a, a lot of change. 
in the small group that we have, mm -hmm. that we have been mentoring. You know, like recently, uh, after my graduation, after my <laughs> MSc graduation, okay. one of the young one of the young mothers in, in Maseno came running unto me, mm -hmm. and she was saying, "My firstborn has just reached 13 years old, mm -hmm. and I know you are a good father." And I said, wow, I just got married the other day. How am I going to be a father? <laughs> then he said, he is now a teen. Mm -hmm. I want to put him into your hands. Wow. And I realized this thing that we have just begun recently, mm -hmm. it has these fruits because I didn't know people are watching. Mm -hmm. And so I said, this is what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, interesting. So you are a father, but uh, I'm a father. at a very young age. Eh? I'm a father at a very young <laughs> age. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. So who are your target audience and how do you get to them? Yes, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, our, our target audience mm -hmm. is the youths mm -hmm. who are aged between 13 mm -hmm. to 35 because that is the critical age that we as the young men and women need to make critical decisions in our life which are going to impact us in the next 10, 10 decades mm. if God will give us up to 100 years to live. Mm. Then we, uh, we, we, we realize that these teenagers who are in high school, others are in primary, we need to reach them. We have college students, we have university and TVET students mm. that we need to reach out. Then we have these other neglected isolated group this group called the dropouts mm -hmm. you know and sometimes it's not because of, of their doing it's the undoing mm -hmm. that happens in their life that they're in that position so when they drop out of school most of us they tend to neglect them or we call them names but i realize that they have potential yeah very true. our system in kenya our education system mm -hmm. who see that any successful person should get an A or a B <laughs> mm. in that matter. Mm. But I was reading another book last year. Mm. Why A students work for C students? Yeah. Then I realized we have some C students and even E students who can do well better than the A students. Yeah. Then we said this group, we also need to reach them. Then finally, the young couples. And I'm happy <laughs> to that be I'm one couple. of them. <laughs> and I'm standing there to say, uh, we have a lot to learn. Mm. We have a lot to learn. Okay. Those are our. So 13 to 35 is such a big range. Yes. So how do you categorize your mentorship? Uh, as much as it's a big and, 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 and a, a vast range of years, mm. uh, as I've said, most of our young youths between 12, uh, 13 and, and, and 19 years, they are teens, mm -hmm. most of them are high school. They are in high school or either they are in first year in college. Mm -hmm. People who really don't know who they are. Yeah. They are struggling a lot with identity crisis. And most of their programs, we carry them over the holidays okay. when they are at home. And sometimes we visit schools. Mm -hmm. We visit schools because, as I said, we've just started. Mm -hmm. So at least we have visited two, two schools so far. We are hoping to be visiting more than five schools in every term mm -hmm. so that as we meet them at home when they're on holiday, we also meet them at school when they are in session. Mm -hmm. And then we have this from 1920 to now 35. Most of them are now adult youths. They, 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 they know their careers. They know where they're heading to. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are pursuing their, their, you know, their professionals. And what we do with them is we ensure that whatever line that they have chosen, we help them to arise. We help them to, 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 to be there and say, this is what I want to do and this is where I want to arise. Okay. And as we do that, we have some who are planning for their wedding uh, and they, 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 they are planning for their marriage and we also help them too as young couples so that they may not make the decisions alone mm. because in our board of governance, we have uh, li like our president is slightly above 35, and so he helps us a lot um. in matters of, of, of counseling the young couples, and we see that as a plus. Mm -hmm. So we don't have them all together mm -hmm. unless we're having an AGM, which we had the first one 
last year mm -hmm. and we are hoping the next one is going to be so better mm -hmm. so only during the AGM that we pull them together and we celebrate what we, what we've been doing nice yes so what is the response of the community to your operation or to your project all right uh most of the people uh, most of the people have been telling me that you choose the wrong course uh -huh. yes because you can't be in agriculture and you're so passionate about human beings you're supposed to be passionate about Not plants, plants. <laughs> you know uh -huh. one of the persons who has been telling me that over and over again is my mom mm. and i told her mom these things are possible i love i, I really love doing the, the, the agriculture because I yearn to have that people should have food on the table. Mm. But again, in that venture, I realized that we have people who are having other challenges outside there that mm. we can help. And not just people, young, bright, energetic, strong, and mighty people mm. that our nation doesn't recognize, mm. that our parents may not recognize because whatsoever young man thinks, when he tells the parent, the parent may think, and we decided that no, as we are doing this, I told them, mom, this one should happen. And some of my friends, they told, they told me, you should quit this, you should quit this career uh, and go and do HR or, and, and, and go and do presentations, or, you know. And I said, no, I'm seeking here, but I'll be doing this because of the love that I have for the young men. J j just to bring you back mm. slightly, I I've, I've, I've really been, I was in a tough situation when I was a teenager. Okay. I had no one to guide me through this life. Mm. I had no one to tell me that Erasa, this is who you are. Mm. You know, I am dark. Unless I smile, you might not see me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, with that, uh. people are calling me names. Ah. Oh, yeah. And thank God, my body is now coming up s s slightly. I was I, I was small, uh -huh. then my head was bigger, so people are oh. calling me lollipop. You know, with that, uh -huh. and sometimes you are in school, people mm. call you lollipop. You feel like you are down. You can't do anything. Mm. So nobody was there to help me. Until I came to Maseno University in second year, mm. I met one person who told me one thing. Erasmus. Mm. You can do it. Mm. My mind changed. Then I said, from then, I'm going to affect the community. Okay. So as much as my line of career mm -hmm. is not in accord with what I'm doing in mentorship, mm -hmm. but I believe that this is what God yes. has me and wants me to do. Nice. And I think I'll do it until even I'm 60. Mm. And I believe that the society will be transformed. Mm. Because if you want to see change, then you need to be the change. So I really don't want any young man around me, with me, who wants to walk with me, to suffer the way I suffered. Mm. With the insults and the small things that I didn't get. Okay. Now for me, I must congratulate you for going through it and standing strong. Speaking of careers, yes. being an agricultural scientist, it yes. requires a lot of field work. Yes. But mentorship now in Itadio Kue Hapo. Yes. So how do you find the balance between the two? We have nine members on our board mm -hmm. and, and, and being the, the being the vice president, uh, we always give uh, we always give a lot a lot of planning. As as we plan we plan with them. And any time we put our our calendar on board so that we know at this particular time when we are having this group, maybe you're having the teenagers or maybe we're having young couples, mm. we have two or three people who are available. Okay. And sometimes we invite other people who are well versed mm. with the topics that we want to do. Like when we want to talk about leadership, we will check around some of the leaders who are within our environment mm. and then we bring them together with our two or three uh, board of governors members, mm. then they will help through. Mm. So as I go in the field, sometimes it helps me to connect with other people mm. who can help us to mentor. Wow. Sometimes I mentor young men. I, I went. I mentor young men when we are in the field, mm. because I'm there. I, I'm teaching them how 
to do uh, how to apply the fertilizer i'm teaching them how to to, to collect data when mm -hmm. when you are in the field but i realize that there is something missing with this this young person mm -hmm. that i've been training others who are not in my field, field of, of operation, of operation. Sure. Sure. so i take that opportunity mm -hmm. and i train them as much as they are not our members mm -hmm. so it has not been that hard for us as we begin and I believe it's going to be the same as our members continue to increase. Speaking of operation, what yes. is your area of operation? Where do you have your offices or uh, like our, our, our physical offices are in Maseno. Okay. Uh, Maseno Market, just near Maseno University. Mm -hmm. That's where our, our physical offices are. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where we've, that's where we began this program. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the whole of Western region in the in, in the Nyanza region and, and, and in, in the western part of, of, of this country, we are going to reach these people. That is our plan in the, in the next five years. Right now we are two years, but we believe in the next five years we'll be reaching the whole western area. Okay. Yes, right now we are in Maseno. And uh, are there any challenges that you have encountered since you started? Yes. And how did you maneuver through them? Thank you. Uh, one of the biggest one of the biggest challenge th th that we had sometimes you see there is a need mm. in, in in a young man and when you invite them sometimes you'll find some resistance they really want to know exactly what do you do mm -hmm. but them who have been coming at the first call they really found a lot of a, a lot of good than harm than what they expected and then as 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 they come over we, we've realized that they help us to pass the message to others mm. and even with the parents mm -hmm. because we need to have a lot of trust more so with the teenagers we, we need to have trust with their parents for them to relinquish that this team is good for our, our child for our child mm. or for our son or daughter and more so daughters <laughs> And you know, <laughs> in our team, we only have two ladies. Ah. And, 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 and most of the time, women are the ones who do the outreach, mm -hmm. a lot of the outreach. Mm -hmm. So when a parent is thinking, now my daughter needs to go here, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have to get that trust. Okay. But now we use some, some referees from our, our, our previous or our own students to tell them this can happen. Mm -hmm. And we have the ability to take care of your children, and they are okay. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the challenges that we've been facing. But now, hitting the second year, 2021, it was it was much. But right now, it's changing because we've been telling them we have done this. Look at so and so; they were here, and right now they are here. Mm -hmm. So we believe that as we continue, it's becoming easier and easier. The second challenge is about finances. Sometimes we need to move. Mm. We need to move from from place to place, and uh, maybe we, we've not reached that capacity to take care of maybe a, 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 a lot of people, maybe traveling, you see, and sometimes facilitating other people when we call them on board to come and help us. But with that, we've we decided that we will do what we can now so that as we continue we are thinking can we get other partners okay. who will come and help us mm. to reach more nice because again i'll refer to the scriptures <laughs> it says that uh the harvest mm. is much it's much but the, <laughs> the well, laborers we, yeah they are few so as, as we are uh, we are asking god that he's going to open doors yeah. as we have this master key okay. i know models are going to be Wow. That's what I can say for now. Mm. Yes. So tell us about your dreams for this project going yes. forward. Yes. Uh, our dream is to have young people mm. who are all-rounded, young people who have a thick skin, young people who can arise even during challenges. Mm. I was reading a book the other day and, and, and I got something interesting. It was saying that tough people mm. do last, but 
tough times never lasts. Okay. So we, we want to have a generation of young people who will be tough during tough times because tough times will always be shorter. But when we are tough, when I am tough, when you are tough, we are going to take our community in a different level. We are going to take our nation into, an, into the next level. We are going to take our world and our globe into the next level when we are tough. Yes. I would love to talk about the young couple. Yes. yes. As we have seen uh, all over the news, most of the marriages are yes. breaking. Yes. How do you get to address that? Just shortly. Breaking your marriage sometimes is our own doing. Because mm -hmm. as I said earlier, you need to be tough for you to sustain your marriage. Mm -hmm. But when our young girls and our young boys are going to get right information, they are going to get right directions, they are going to get right mentorship from the right people from the beginning, as young as 13 years, mm -hmm. then they will have a clear mind. They will know that this is what I'm working with. Mm -hmm. And so we want to enable and we want to enrich and uplift our young men and women that in our relationships as it was in the old mm. when you get married you stick there yeah. and thank god our mothers will like to whip us and they will direct you you are here you're not going anywhere hey. but right now the society is broken everybody has their own choices my dress my, my choice, choice. my food mm. my choice you can't direct me who I work with, who I love. Mm. I was watching another movie called If Loving You Is Wrong. This person was just loving anybody mm. and asking, is it wrong? Mm -hmm. No, it's wrong. When you love many, mm. God gave you one and you will enjoy it okay. for the next 10, 20 and up to 50 years. Wow. That is what we need to know. Mm -hmm. That It's a choice that you make to love. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. When you choose that I'm going to do this, and I'm going to love this person, mm -hmm. and we are going to get married. Okay. It's a choice that you make from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And all the young men and all the young women should understand that that is a precious gift, that you don't need to throw it away for five minutes mm -hmm. to waste 50 years. Okay. Thank you. And uh, how can one reach you or your yeah. organization? Uh, when you want to reach us, uh, you can... If, if, if it's possible, possibly we, we, we can use our, our, our general secretary's phone number mm -hmm. uh, because it's an office number. They can they, they can get us any time. Mm -hmm. uh, with our so social media, we've, we've just begun last week. We are, we, we are starting to work on our, on, on our social media on Facebook. We've just started to, 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 to create the, the websites. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are running. Soon, we'll bring them on board. Okay. But if any wants to reach us, maybe to contact us, you, you have a team that we can come and, and, and you want them to be mentored. Mm -hmm. Are they teenagers? Are they youths? Are they young couples? We are well able. So you can contact us or meet us on 0703-279921. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That is the contact of our Secretary General. You, we, we, we can, we, you can find us okay. there as we continue upgrading our other social media handles. Interesting. Yeah. So what is your call to the community? Yes. Mm -hmm. I will say that uh, we have young men who are mightier than they think they are. Mm -hmm. But they only need a person. They only need an organization. They only need an institution mm -hmm. to hold their hand. Because if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, then have a person to hold your hand. Mm -hmm. And these young men who have the ability to do mighty things, they need this one person. Mm -hmm. They need this institution. They need this organization to hold their hand. Okay. And we can start anywhere. We can start wherever we are. That one person. We can be the change that we want. We can be the change that we want those people to be. 
these young men, they need us. Parents who are out there, sometimes we cannot connect well with our children because their language is much different from yours. Yeah. I think it's because of the generational gap and, and, and the change of the, of, 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 of the world system right now. What was there 10 years ago cannot work right now. Mm. But we can find out people of the same age who are like-minded and they can improve our young men. Mm. They can bring them from one level to another. Wow. Allow me finish with this. Mm. Young men and women who are out there, you are out there and you have your MSc and you say you cannot reach to a Form 2, you cannot reach to a Class 8, you have a PhD and you think God gave you that to go and flourish and, 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 and to go and, and, and just enjoy yourself alone, we live for each other. That is the call that we have. I need to help you, you need to help me. Mm -hmm. Do not brag outside there. Come down here and as we help each other arise, mm -hmm. as we help these young men and women arise, then the Lord who is in heaven will rise you, will arise when you are down. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. Yes. I appreciate your words. I appreciate your call to young people because they are mighty. Yes. And that is really true. You are mighty. And because of that, do not go alone. As he has said, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, have someone to hold your hand. In whichever field of operation you have, look for someone of like-minded, of like languages, and go far with them. Choose things that you can do together with the same agenda, with the same objective. Namtaenda mbali. Na wale tuko huko juko PhD, tusiwasau wenzetu huko chini. Because as he has said, you need me, I need you. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Greni. This is the way to do it.